Good morning, good morning. Um, it's a Monday morning, and uh, I hope everyone is okay. I hope I find you well. It's been a long time since I um, since I made an audio. Mostly, when I make an audio, is because I I feel inspired, and I've uh, gone through some uh, moments when I think, oh, I need to share this. Because sometimes I get overwhelmed, even when I'm writing a book, I kind of think excess information. Let me just share it with my Facebook friends because life moves on. We can wait for a book until it comes. Who knows? We may not have time to read the book. For some people, it can be too late to get the information. So that's why you see me sharing a lot. But um, today I'm going to talk about... uh, the disconnection between families, between a child and a mother, a child and a, and his father, her father. Uh, there's so much that I've been writing about, talking about. I made so many live videos, um, trying to explain, express my feelings about what it means to leave your parents behind, what it means to lose your parents as a child, and what it means to lose a mother as a baby. And um, what it means then to be with another parent who is not your biological parent. And today I was watching this program, which was, um, um, I hope people can hear me. How are you? Good morning. Are you able to hear what I'm saying? Because uh, then I can continue with my audio. Because otherwise it's going to be a wasting of time if uh, no one can hear me. So please confirm if you can hear me and good morning to everybody. And if I can see a like, if you can hear me or maybe an angry face, if you can't, then I can restart the audio. So I can continue with what I wanted to say. Just waiting for your response. Whilst I'm waiting for your response, my name is Melissa Badding Vantira, and I live in the Netherlands. That I've been living here for the past 25 years. So I'll do some checkings with the computer and see if I'm uh, if everybody can hear me. So if you are able to hear me, please uh, confirm by pressing a like so I can uh, continue with my audio. Uh, Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Because I cannot see from this side uh, who is watching or not. So um, let me continue. Like I was talking about uh, disconnection, uh, humans bonding. That's the name that I have managed to use. So it's about humanity, human bonding bonding between a child and a parent, bonding between families, and bonding between friends, and of course, bonding between people you are are dealing with at that moment. So it can be a business company, it can be an entrepreneurship moment, and that you are dealing with other people in the world, and then how is it going? How are you managing to deal with the people? How are you connecting with them? And have you managed to connect with yourself? So what I wanted to talk about now, what worried me so much this morning, I woke up and I was, uh, yeah, you know, I, I turn on the, the television, not every day, but um, once in a while in there, I, I, once I watch some documentaries, you know, like uh, the actual news or the things that are really happening in the world. Or if I watch a movie, it should be from a well, uh, a, a, you know, a, based from a true story. So today when I was watching, I realized uh, there was a program where they, there was a writer who visited um, 
an orphanage here in the Netherlands. An orphanage is a place where not only uh, children who lost parents, but um, uh, children who have been disconnected from their parents due to circumstances, due to situations whereby um, maybe the parents were addicted to drugs or maybe there was abuse to the children or maybe they were, the children just left home because there wasn't any connection. And now these children came to some kind of a camp, a place where they stay and the system is taking care of them. Ah, yeah, well, so these children were being interviewed and they were giving different reasons why they were no longer with their parents. It hurts my feelings because if, if I look at myself, how much I had to give up because I found it very important to be there for my children. And of course, if I would really say to the children that have never been with their parents because their parents died, due to AIDS, due to any other diseases, that we can, some things are very difficult to talk about, very hard, very harsh. But you see that those children maybe were then adopted to other countries where they never knew they were going to be. And maybe they considered themselves very lucky. But then they left their roots they left their parents behind, meaning even if there were graves, sometimes being closer to the grave of your parent is even much easier than being somewhere where you know you can be psychologically abused or psychologically mistreated without you realizing it. But anyway, going back to disconnection, going back to connection, going back to human bonding, going back to bereka bereko, you know what I was talking about all along. You see that I've been fighting, or I'm fighting for parents to realize how important it is to carry your baby when, you are, when the baby is born. Because you never know that day that you are disconnected. You never know the day that you are going to be away from each other. You never know the day that your child is going to marry somebody or your child is going to get married to someone. You don't know which kind of family they are going to be in. And you don't know if they are going to be in a family that is going to take good care of them. You don't know if she's going to be with her husband who is going to take care of her or maybe the other way around as well, of course. So when you manage to provide the best and the best, that, that's what we're talking about, and it, to do with the whole world. It's nothing to do with only Africans. It's nothing to do with only Caucasians. It's nothing to do with only Europeans or Americans or whoever. It's the whole world. Every child who is born deserves to be with a parent. Every child who is born deserves to feel a heartbeat of his parent. Not only for nine months, but even after nine months. Not only for four years, but even after four years. And not only after four years, the rest of their lives, that whenever they feel lonely, they have somewhere to go back to. And when you have, when you have given that best, it means they are going to provide that to their siblings. And their siblings are also going to provide that to their own children. So which means when you manage to give the right best, the right best being connecting with your child, being close to your child. It doesn't matter what kind of disease you're suffering from. It doesn't matter if you're not managing to give breastfeeding just because you're sick or you're, give, you're taking medication. But connecting with your child, giving them a, a hug is no longer something that is um, that is uh, that is natural anymore like it used to be a long time ago. People are westernized People have been brainwashed. People have been looking up to Western countries where people are actually uh, practicing individualism. Yet when they knew, when they were born, they were carried by their own parents. I come from a generation where we didn't know anything than being carried at the back of our mother. We, know, we knew nothing than being strapped on and being breastfed and all we saw in the 90s, in the 80s, in the 70s, long back in Africa, parents were practicing natural parenting. Parents were practicing attachment parenting, which means they were connecting much better. It, it's not for nothing that the generation from then is connecting with people much better than the other generation later. It's all because of the influence that people got. So how are we going to fight this? 
How are we going to go back to the connection? How are we going to be people who can understand each other by, through communicating, through taking care of each other, through understanding what another person wants and what another person is expecting, how another person feels when somebody is, is throwing tears that somebody has to go there and give them a hug. The day of today, people are laughing when somebody is dead there. I saw that through when I saw xenophobia taking place in South Africa. A lot of people were taking pictures instead. A lot of people were taking videos instead. And all what we see these days on social media are dead people, people beating each other, and no one gave any feeling. No one has a feeling. No one cries about it. No one thinks about how do I feel when I see this? How do I feel if it's going to be my own child? How do I feel if it's going to be myself? How do the people around me feel when they lose me? It's all individualism now. It's all about earning money now. It's all about seeing what another person is doing so I can do it better. Let's go back to connection. Let's go back to the connectivity. Let's go back to the human bonding. Let's go back to where we call back to basics. I didn't have much to say than to see the children that I was watching this morning, that those children were kind of out of place. Even the way they looked in their own eyes, you could see that this child never got a hug from his own parent. You could see that that little girl is never going to manage to love the way love is supposed to be. Because when you love somebody, you know how it feels because you have been loved before. When you have been loved, you know how to provide love. When you have been hugged, you hug easier. When you have had this cuddling feeling, when you know that when I feel sad, I need somebody close to me who can hug me, then you know that when somebody around you is crying, when somebody around you needs you, you give them a hug, not just watch them and say, oh, you are spoiled. Not just watch them and say, oh, in Shona we call you Maguara, Guara. But it's not like that. We should be caring to each other. And when you have this caring feeling, it means you have been cared of. It means you have experienced this caring feeling. How do we go back to this moment of human bonding? Let's teach each other to care each our children. When you have a baby, don't put them just in a pram and think it's okay. When you are working and leave, them, leave your children behind with somebody else, it means they are bonding with that person and not you. Maybe it depends on how that person is connected to your child because you know, you know what it is. When you have been carrying your child for nine months, you, you take better care of your own child than somebody else who doesn't even know how that child is like. Unless if that other person has been taken care of. So how do you control that? How do you know the person has been taken better care of? How do you know if that person is psychologically unstable? There's so many issues that we can talk about when it comes to Mbereko. And there are so many issues that are worry, worry me when it comes to individualism. There are so many issues that worry me when it comes to social media these days. There are so many issues that worry me when it comes to a lot of people who are no longer knowing who they are. We can't even mention the moments when a lot of Africans have to leave Africa because of what we call poverty. It's so much is imposed on us as Africans that we are poor. It's so much that is imposed on us through education that has been telling us Western world is the best. So much has is is been imposed on African children that an European child is better. Now we are facing a very big issue where we have lost a lot in Africa. Not only our parents, but families, friends. If I look at the time that I grew up, I had neighbors, I had my mother, I had my father. And those people were there through thick and thin. Those people were there when you knew I'm, you were lost. But now when you are in Europe where you thought maybe the life or the, the pastures are greener, they, that's where you start missing the connection that you used to have, the connection, the hugs that you used to get from your own parents, the hugs that you used to get from your own neighbors. In Europe, a neighbor is someone whom you actually try to greet and maybe they won't even greet you back. 
So it's not for nothing that we are here to fight for connection. Some people talk about fighting for freedom, but do you know what freedom is? Before we know about freedom, we have to know about connection. Before we know about freedom, we have to know about humanity. Before we know about freedom, we have to know about how to love, how to love our loved ones, how to love our siblings, how to love our family, how to love our friends, and how to love our colleagues. Because when we mistaken love for only affection, we are mistaking everything. We have to make sure that we know what love is, and then freedom, and then connection. But what is first? That's the thing that we're talking about. Anyway, to make this video short, because I need I need to to make sure that some some of these videos are going to reach people who are disadvantaged, and these people are also in Africa. Some they don't have electricity. Some they don't have Wi-Fi. They cannot even uh, hear what we have been talking about on social media. So information is only reaching the wrong people. The wrong people are still in, in practicing individualism, and the African people still think that oh, we are supposed to go there to Europe where the greener pastures are. I'm here. I've been here for 25 years. I have experienced life differently, and I can compare on to where I lived. The nature in Africa is different from the nature in Europe. Don't ever mistake that. Thank you so much. My name is Melissa Badding. Um, if you want to go to my uh, pages, just visit Melissa Badding. Um, just visit Mbereko. Just visit Baby Carry Workout. Just visit uh, Family Bonding. You will see all those things. They come together to one story, connection, human bonding. Thank you so much. Love you. Bye-bye. Take care.